offer a prayer by Reverend Stephen Garnis Holmes, recently retired. After the fire, the greening, after the death, the rising, God of mercy, give me faith. Despite the insult, the beauty, despite the wound, the wholeness, God of healing, give me grace. Within the sorrow, the joy, within the trouble, the way, God of light, give me peace. Beneath the noise, the silence, beneath the earth, the seed, God of truth, give me hope. Amidst the prisoners, the presence, amidst the cruel, the witness, God of justice, give me courage. Beyond despair, the wisdom, Beyond defeat, the power, God of love, give me love. And may God open us to greater love for one another and for all God's creation. Amen. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer, the alternate version from the New Zealand Book of Worship. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, loving God in whom is heaven. The hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us in the times of temptation and testing, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever, amen. Thank you friends for joining us again and again for a time of worship, a time of coming together in solidarity, even though we cannot join in person. Thank you for continuing to support this church, your church, United Church in University Place with your prayers and your presence and your gifts and your service. And there is a, on the screen information of how you can donate either by snail mail or by going to our church's website. And we are so grateful for all that you are able to give and you are able to offer. I ask Robert to uh, unmute himself now as he leads us in the prayer of dedication. God who guides us on the journey, we offer our tithes and offerings to you and pray that the gifts we give might, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Bring your kingdom here on earth. Use not only these resources we offer, but use us. Use our hands, use our feet, use our voices, and use our hearts to shape the world for which you long. Strengthen us by your spirit to stay true to the journey. Amen. There are a couple of announcements. Let me find where some of those announcements might be. Uh, it's the season of stewardship. Stewardship is all year, all year long. Um, uh, and our church will, will be in, embarking on um, a stewardship adventure uh, in the next uh, four, four or five, six weeks. And all of our ministry partners, this is the time of year where they are asking for our financial contributions as well. One of our ministry partners is My Sister's Pantry. We, we often donate food. We bring food to the church. Um, that's been ongoing, and Kay Shaben has been gracious enough to take our offerings um, to My Sister's Pantry. They are um, 
doing a fundraiser all week long. Uh, later this afternoon, expect an email coming from uh, my email address, pastor at ucup.org, ways that you can support my sister's pantry. They um, have a goal of raising $30,000. Um, and part of that money is uh, for a new walk-in refrigerator and, and freezer. And um, Robert wants to remind us that um, Faith Action Network, uh, usually they have a dinner uh, fundraiser, and this year um, we can all participate. It is free, and um, that'll be coming in November, and there'll be more details about that um, later uh, coming out. Uh, the church board meeting is tomorrow evening at 6.30 p.m. If there are other announcements that need to be made, you can put them in the chat for for people to take note of. Thank you again for joining us for worship. We're going to close our worship service uh, with a song benediction with the hymn that has been called the prayer of St. Francis. Some know it as make me a channel of your peace. While it is attributed to St. Francis, some evidence has shown that he didn't actually write it, but it reflects his way of life, which is open to us all. We can all be Franciscans if we pray to God to make us an instrument of God's peace, to sow love where there is hatred, to bring pardon where there is injury, to bring faith where there is doubt, hope into despair, light into darkness, and joy into sadness. Let us sing with AJ accompanied by Jeff with visuals by Don.